Finally arrived the new exciting digital stage piano from Kauai, the ES120. Stick around. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. Today, I am presenting the ES120 from Kauai, their new digital stage piano. It's really something to look at, and I'm really super impressed with it. And it's got some incredible sounds in it. And I believe that it is moderately priced. It's right in the target range, right at around around $1,000. I think the MSRP is a little over that and you can actually get them on sale for a bit less than that. What's exciting about this uh, keyboard is that it is essentially a gig ready. It comes in at around 28 pounds. You can pick it up and walk off to a gig because it has everything that you need. It doesn't have an overabundance of sounds, but it has an overabundance of features. And it's kind of really interesting to look at. And also it's a lot of fun to play. It has a new kind of action they put together, and they also have the SKEX piano samples in it. And I wanted to talk a little bit about, first, some things that are not common with this kind of keyboard, and it's, it's kind of really neat that they have these features and functions in it. They have four registration memory, so you can set up certain sounds and it'll always be there for you. You can go back and get those. It also has separate buttons, for uh, record, play, and stop for the built-in recorder. And then it has transpose, and it also has sound buttons. Now on the sound buttons, the one thing I do wanna mention about the sounds, and they, what is really inventive is this thing has, of course, it's keyboard controlled, so you have the first bass sound assigned to that first key. However, in spite of all this, I didn't even use this to do the demo because they set up an alternative way to change the sounds. You go to the piano bank, and when you hit piano, it'll start at the first, and then it'll go through ascending order, all of the piano sounds. And then at any time, if you wanted to get back to the other one, you can know that the first one is gonna be their SKEX concert grand sound. And so you can go to that one. And then uh, for the piano sounds, the first one that comes up is you get like four electric piano sounds. So if you hit the button four times, it'll take you to the fourth one. And then after that, it starts repeating those sounds. And the organ button works the same way. And there's nine sounds that are in others, which include things like uh, slow strings, fast strings, choir voices, uh, stand up bass, bass with drum, electric bass, and, and organ. Now there are eight piano sounds and I have to tell you every single one of them is a really unique sound and with that we're going to stop and have a listen so you can hear exactly what I'm talking about.
All right, so I went through the eight piano sounds, four electric pianos, four organs, and some of the other sounds that are literally called others. And uh, what I wanted to mention is they have 192 note polyphony on this keyboard, and it comes with a total of 25 sounds. And they're actually pl played through like two, about five and a half inch speakers that face down. And uh, that does make a difference because on some of the other keyboards, the speakers face up. When it faces down, it gets a really good responsive feel to the action. And it is designed to be set on some kind of a stand. Uh, but the, the sound quality is great because they've got, uh, it's like 10 watts of sound and the speakers are really, really built for woofers. Again, it's like 28 pounds. And they came up with what's called the responsive hammer and it's the compact. It's kind of a, a trimmed down version of their other responsive hammers that they have, like their grand piano actions. And so in this target price range, all I can say about Kawhi products is just from my observation, they may not look or be as famous as some other keyboards are. However, they always seem to play and sound the best within their price range. And that on top of the fact that there is Bluetooth and it has a separate on off switch, it's not anything you need to do through a function. And it's also MIDI and hi-fi audio. And there are enough settings to go inside this piano. It ap absolutely works with the uh, piano remote app and also the, uh, the player that has a, uh, music in it. So there's a lot of really big functions as well as their top of the line piano sample that's in here. And the outputs are left and right stereo outputs for the audio outputs is not just limited to a headphone output. And that is what makes it professional grade ready for the stage. And I have nothing but great and wonderful things to say about the ES120. If you've played one, put some comments in there. Let me know your, let me know your thoughts because it is an exciting keyboard and considering all of the additional features and functions you get, certainly using it as a small portable sound system uh, when you think about the, the Bluetooth, it really, really serves a multitude of purposes, and it's a fun keyboard to have. Again, I'm Ted Barsulu with Alamo Music Center, and this has been a presentation, short and brief, of the Kawhi new keyboard digital stage piano, the Kawhi ES120, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in future videos here, and we'll talk to you soon.